What's up guys, Cole here, and today I'm going to do some of my favorite education apps. Let's go. Okay, so first let's turn this on. Swipe it, and now you guys are going to know my password. Okay, now, yes. My iPad, let me push this down a little bit, is organized in many ways, but my education folder is right there. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I have online desktop, iTunes, Sporkle, iBooks, um, Dragon Dictionary, Dropbox, Adobe, Call My PC, or not Call My PC, My PC, um, Algebra Touch, Documents 2, Notes Plus, and iHomework. And now I am mainly going to just talk about, let's go with five of them, which is going to be On Live Desktop, Dropbox, Notes Plus, iHomework, and Go to My PC. So first, let's start with On Live. Now, you've probably heard of this before, but I mainly use this for school, in other words. As you can see, you have to put in your information, you have to make an account on OnLive.com. And then you will put your information in. It kind of it takes a second sometimes. And there, there you go. So now, as you can see, you have Microsoft Word, Adobe Reader, getting started. That's getting started, and PowerPoint. Now this is pretty sweet. This is the only app where you can get all this stuff, and it's actually pretty legit. So you hit Microsoft Word. It opens up, as you can see, it's just like opening it up on a Windows computer, and you got all your stuff. It's all there. You got all your top, all your bottom. It's all there. So, as you can see, that's pretty legit. And then up in the corner, as you can see, there's a little X. So you can just hit that. It's pretty responsive, too. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to say about that app. It's pretty awesome. So, second, let's talk about Go to My PC. I'm not going to log in at all, but what Go to My PC pretty much is is... I don't even have a PC. Well, I guess I have one PC. But, um, you go to my PC, obviously, you put your information in, and you can, everything that's on your PC, you can pretty much get on your, um, iPad. So it's pretty cool. That's how people, they're trying to see, as you can see on the front, I don't know if you can see that, but they are trying to transfer PCs over to iPad, so this is just an app that kind of helps it. Uh, there is a monthly fee I am aware of, but um, let's not get into that, because I'm all Apple, but I just wanted to show you that. So now, let's talk about Algebra Touch. Algebra Touch is pretty much for younger kids, and as you can see, X equals 1. It's just a bunch of practice for algebra, and then you have to find all of your... Um, See, if I hit that, it spreads it out, and then you have to find everything that fits together, and it will help you through the way. And as you can see up here, you can push Generate Problems, and you can push Edit, and then you can push Explain if you want to explain it to you how to do it, and then see how on the bottom, actually you can't see that because I'm not low enough, see all those steps on there, those are all the steps to do it. But, um, I'm not going to show you that right now, because that would take a long time. But Algebra Touch, I think this app's about, eh, two bucks in the app store, but it's a pretty good deal for younger kids. You're not going to use it if you're over the age of, like, I don't know, over ninth grade, because you're pretty much past this stuff. Most, like, I know it past here, though. That's just coming from me. Maybe you don't, but that's coming from me. I know it past ninth grade. I knew it totally. Okay, Dropbox. Now, Dropbox is pretty much... If you don't know what Dropbox is, er, cancel. If you don't know what Dropbox is, it's pretty much just a good way to get files from one place to another. I mainly use this for school for like um, getting files from my laptop to my iPad. As you can see, or maybe you can't, getting started. There's a PDF. I just got this app because I had it on my old iPad. This is my new one. It shows you. It's pretty self-explanatory. To get it's and I think it's only like a buck or two. That app is definitely worth it, guys. Now our last two talk about Notes Plus. Now this is a great app for school. As you can see, on your side you can record. You can um, do quick start. Oh, it's going out of focus. Let's just go out a little bit, guys. Let's go in. And yes, it is raining outside. Man, it is really going crazy. But as you can see. Um, you have a notepad here, and then you have your palm pad. 
so you can pull that up and you put your palm on that and um, you can write with all that kinds of notes but the thing with this is you can you're not typing it you can type if you want to but um you can write and it'll fix your handwriting like if you're writing is really bad it'll fix it for you so that's pretty cool and you can put all kinds of notes and stuff in and you can put um, make note writable export to iTunes you can put oh it just went out of it sorry guys um, again you can put in you can put in audio to like where you want it in your notes to tell you like how to do something and such but it's um I think it's really worth it it's it's five or six bucks but it's really worth it like you can even use it for school for all full time it'll work just great for you now um, let's go to, this is my last app, iHomework, oh, just went out, iHomework, now this app beats the iCalendar, or the main app that comes on iPad by a mile, you can, um, put all kinds of apps in, you have your list, oh, I can't click on it, but then you have, you have your list, and, um, that has all your homework and stuff, and that has your week of all your homework, and then this has, you can put all your courses in, and you can put all your courses into here and it will show you like um how uh, it will show you like you can put your homework into each course and then it will you can put your teacher under it and then um hook your campus portal up to it i don't know if you guys have a campus portal but i do it shows all your grades and stuff and um you can hook that up to it and show your grade next to it and everything but then if you put homework assignments in you can just link it with that um uh what am i trying to say here link it with um that teacher and then it'll show up on your calendar under that class say you need to get this done for AP world history and such and um, then it'll say the date and it'll be under that class and on the side here I have homework that is completed then I have all my courses so American Sign Language World History Geometry Physics English 9 then I have reminders, so you can put reminder tabs in. Then I have what I'm reading, and then I have assignments. And then your calendar goes for, well, like, the next year, but you can put it in a list form, too. But, yeah, guys, that is all I have for apps, and let's take it back to me showing me. That's what I'm trying to say. But that's pretty much um, all I have for the apps, and now let's take it back to me. Okay, guys, that is all I have for my education apps. I hope you liked it. I know it was, you might have not been able to see it in the links below. I will put all of the apps and the price for you. But, um, yes, that is all I have for you guys. If it'd be great if you could subscribe. That was cool tech stuff, guys. I'll catch you guys later. See ya.